Good day, kids. How are you? I am Sir Kim, and welcome to our math class. Before we start our new lesson, review muna tayo. Last week, we discussed about volume. Now, I want you to find the volume of this cube. You can pause the video as you solve for the volume. The volume of this cube is 729 cubic centimeters. Did you got it right? Today, we'll be talking about data involving two variables. At the end of this lesson, you're expected to collect data on two variables using any source and to organize data in tubular form and present them in a single or double horizontal, or vertical bar graph. To start with our lesson, let us look at this example. Ivan loves to help picking fine apples from their family's farm. Every day, he picks fine apples. Let us help him count how many fine apples he gathers for one week. Bilangin natin ang mga harvest niyang fine apples. Let us tally the number of pineapples gathered using this table. What is the data all about? Anong araw ang may list number of pineapples gathered? What is the greatest number of pineapples gathered? How many more pineapples gathered on Monday than on Tuesday? What is the difference between the number of pineapples collected on Thursday and Friday? Itong data na ating nakita ay pwede ding i-present in a horizontal or vertical bar graph. Pero, ano nga bang isang graph? Graph tells a story about the data or information given. Bar graph is one way of presenting set of data which can either be vertical or horizontal in form. It can be used to show and compare information. Double bar graphs. Double bar graphs help us to compare or present more than one kind of information instead of just one by using bars. Here are the steps on how to construct a horizontal or vertical bar graph. First, draw the vertical or horizontal axis. Yung vertical ay patayong linya. Horizontal naman ay yung pahigang linya. Next, label the horizontal and vertical axis. Vertical, days of the week. Horizontal, number of pineapples gathered. Third, find the greatest number in the data. Balikan lang natin yung table kanina. Ano ang pinakmalaking number sa ating data? 20. Now, pwede natin itong i-plot sa ating graph. Maglalagay lang tayo ng scale from 0 to the highest number. Ang ilalagay naman natin dito sa kabila ay ang days of the week. Next one is to draw horizontal or vertical bars to represent the number of pineapples. Simulan natin sa day na may pinakamalaking number ng pineapples gathered. And the last one is to put a title on our graph. The title of our graph is Number of Pineapples Gathered by Ivan. Now, you may begin answering the learning tasks. Ito lang ang mga learning tasks na kailangang sagutan. Learning task 2. Ramil and Maria 
harvested vegetables in their farm? Answer the following questions. Learning task 3. Analyze the double bar graph below by answering the questions that follow. Learning task 4. Construct a horizontal bar graph with the given data in the table below. Then answer the questions that follow. Learning task 5. Construct a vertical bar graph with the given data in the table below. And answer the following questions. I hope that you understood our lesson for this week. See you again next week here in our math class.